My name is Robin Bird. I am an installation artist from Vallejo, California. I am 29 years old and a San Francisco State alumni. As a child, art was a big part of my life, but before I realized that, I would say play is more important or was more important. I would play all kinds of things, playing outside, playing football, basketball, but I also played like random weird things like I would bungee jump from the second floor of my house with old bed sheets. I would like make potions out of old um, shampoo and conditioner then I would bury it in the ground and dig it up a few days or months later to see what it looks like and I would a uh, role play like play house play school would also play like holy communion where someone was a priest and then other people were the ch church goers and then we would feed the holy communion and drink grape juice so another part of my childhood was a lot of like arguing and as a child i was kind of like a fly on the wall where i would observe adults doing adults things and i would question like why are they doing that or why are they always angry or grumpy so i think all of that kind of played a role in the art that i'm producing now so like a mixture of play and like this observation and like questioning of the world. This is the butterfly snake. It is a half butterfly, half snake. <laughs> it actually, is, it's three snakes. So there's the snake head here, and then there's a snake here, and a snake on the side. It has little eyes. And I made this kind of when Trump won the presidential election, and it was really about transformation and I think before Trump people were not as politically minded at the time so I think that the butterfly snake is a metaphorical piece about transformation and learning to be stronger yet thought more thoughtful so it really combines the gentleness of the butterfly with the fierceness of a snake and it's just kind of a representational of the way that I think people should motivate to morph and transform into as they continue to live. I love going to the, the East Bay Creative Reuse Depot. I think I said that name out of order because there's like an endless possibility of stuff that you can find. There's a, a lot of like intimate objects that people give away because of like a lot of times maybe tragedy, like divorce or someone dies or because they have too much stuff and they read the magical guide of cleaning up. You just never know what you might find. I would like experiment with a lot of random stuff I would find at home. One time I was making like candles out of old candles. <laughs> like I had all these like leftover candles that didn't work anymore because the wick was like already in the wax. And I'm like, oh, I got it. I'll make this giant candle. So I like gathered all the crappy candles and I melted in a pot. And then my mom was like, hurry up. Your dad's about to wake up. And I was like, oh, no, what do I do? What do I do? What do I do? And I poured it down the drain and then it like solidified and then I got more in trouble. <laughs> So we do a lot of weird stuff like that, like, I don't know why, but so I built a cardboard fort and then the neighbor got mad because they're like, it's going to burn on fire. Oh, these are cool, actually. They're slides. They're, um, x-rays. It says x-rays. Whoa. <laughs> the sign. because the sun is really hot and it's 100 degrees and you need to destroy it. And I'm like, that doesn't make any sense. <laughs> so like, yeah, I definitely did get in trouble about, about like making random crap. The work I have up right now at Counterpulse in collaboration with ArtSpan 
is a culmination of all of the breast booby related work I've done in the past. And um, all of it kind of is inspired by a childhood memory. Growing up underneath the sink scared me, it like terrified me because there were two things that lived under there and I, and I didn't want to see it ever. One of those things was a Halloween mask and the other thing was this like giant boob shaped mug where you could drink out of the nipple. Overall, my dad was a boob guy. It was like an open topic that he kind of joked around about and it, and it, was, it was normalized. So growing up, I was like terrified of boobs, but also wanted boobs and was just weirded out and confused about like what breasts meant. I think it's important to express yourself because it helps cope with like all the trauma happening in the world. It's one thing that you have that you own and that you have total power over as opposed to like as we navigate throughout the world we're like binded by you know having to make money or having to do this having to that because you have these obligations but being able to create is is essentially owned by you and created by you something that comes from you. So I think being able to create is in a sense a form of healing. Um, and I think it's also a way to think critically of the world and to question the world rather than being complacent and just letting life control you. See. Oh my god. Whoa.